I'm the author of the book Crime Scene, From Patrol Cop to Profiler. I wrote the book because I wanted to um, tell the story of my career, my OPP policing career. Many of the, the stories that I tell are from my perspective, from my interactions. They're not about the bad guys, all my stories are about the good guys. We have a, a posting board where new assignments come up and I, you know, I peruse them. I think most offices have that kind of thing. You decide, okay, I love my job, but is there something else out there that I'd like to give a try? And I saw that they were looking particularly for a woman. They wanted her to not be married, I guess not tied down, back in a different era when you could put those things on job uh, requests. So I decided to apply for the position and I got it. So I became the first woman who was working full-time in undercover drug work with the drug enforcement section of the OPP and uh, I traveled throughout the province. It was a very different kind of lifestyle for me, but I mean, I was literally living on the street, oftentimes with people that were homeless or uh, between jobs unemployed, not always uh, necessarily the most upstanding citizens in the community, but those are the people that I needed to interact with and gain cred credibility as far as who I was, obviously not telling them the role that I was playing, which was most often to, to purchase drugs. Whatever they wore or what they were, you know, what their discussions were about, I just kept blending, blending, blending. And that takes some time before you actually get in and really start to do the job that you're there to do. You just try to sort of blend into the community slowly, certainly not inserting yourself too quickly. Or they start to think that you might be a police officer. I had on numerous occasions people asked me if I was a police officer. I won't use the same language <laughs> as I used then, but with several expletives, um, like, uh, you know, I'm not. And if you, if you think I am, then take a hike, don't talk to me. You know, sometimes I would have them say, well, you know, if you're a cop, I've heard that you, they have to tell you the truth. And I said, really? I didn't know that. They have to tell you the truth? And I would bring it up to other people in that same community. Did you, I, you know, I was talking to so-and-so and they say, you know, if there's a cop, they say that you can, they have to tell you the truth. So I just, that was just another, another story and uh, pretty much anybody that I told that to was later arrested for selling me narcotics. It's just not just what you see in the media or what you uh, read about in newspapers or in magazines, which are all stories that are good to educate the public about a particular investigation, but there are perspectives of all of those investigations that people never get to hear, and those are the ones that I wanted to share.